Good morning, everyone. Rather than our school's project that you can find at our website, and also our doors are open to you if you want to come in and check about this project. The truth is that I'm here to tell you about the ethos behind our project. And that is how we have experienced, how we have worked on it. And I think that this Albert Einstein's quote is quite telling because accordingly, as he said, mine only works as a parachute. It only works if you open it. So that's what we try to do, to open it up and to try and have it flowing in and quite naturally. We are a high school close to Girona with students coming mostly from rural area. We now have both prime, the first and the second degrees in the high school and we wanted to reflect on how to do that from scratch. Why did we chose why did we choose to introduce these digital tablets in the classroom? Because as you can see, desktops of our children is no longer that full with tools and gadgets, but rather it's now full of apps and we need for schools no, not just to use these apps, but also to bring them in. And what device were we to choose? Because there are plenty of them. We were guided by the people who have been in these for longer than we, and we decided to go for the tablet. Every student has his own tablet, and we decided to go for these mostly because of an advantage and that is the simple incorporation of audio and images to any sort of activities which let us overcome any learning barriers so that we can have multiple channels in and out learning can be input through various channels and also he can showcase his learnings through several different channels. Again, quite in line with what we were talking about, customized learning. Then, the cross-cutting approach, because this is something that we implement to all subjects at our schools, at all levels, and for all teachers. We are aware that this was quite a um, bold step, being quite a new school, and Indeed, there are some existing reluctance to letting digital devices being brought into the classroom. But then we did so by first providing information to families, first by briefing them and listening to their complaints and listening to their doubts. And we tried to come up with solutions to all of their questions. One more thing that we worked upon was this idea of the cost and like the, these was too expensive and then there are different types of tablets different price tablets and since we do not buy books it's just one single expenditure for the whole four years of secondary education and then we want we guaranteed families that the information will be open for them so that the families know about the series of applications that they are using and they know at every point in time what app is being used for a given subject. Then, education, training. Training mostly for teachers. We have a um, thorough in-house training but also some external training and we provide the most opportunities for teachers to assist any ICT event and also a thorough training for students mostly throughout the first weeks and then later on uh, on a given subject based basis. We also train families. 
And in those sessions, we tell them about the usage of tablets, we tell them about the risks, and we guide them on how to better use the tablets at home. This is just an example on some of the assets we work upon because we were much concerned about the scalability of the project like uh, you might say just 50 students that's easy but then families were questioning this if we were would be able to keep up with this so but scalability from the very beginning was a very significant part of it both for teachers and for the management team so first thing we were looking at was guaranteeing connectivity, and that is guaranteeing the support of the different governments and the different agencies, but also having students involved in the maintenance of such a challenge that we had thrown upon ourselves. And our second degree students are now in charge of helping out any students with technical issues or any other sort of issues with their tablets. And they also use self-assessing tests to check whether the tablet is properly set up, whether it's properly used and so on. Another aspect that came as a surprise was after seeing a mother that was frowning a possible complaint because she said that you've brought to my home something that I did not even want to and how can you do such a thing and I said you're right we need to guarantee that this guest and indeed it's been an imposed guest upon you should not be upsetting you other than what you are able to tolerate and this is why we have a strict control of the apps with remote control of all students so that they can have they can use it only for educational purposes so what we do is changing the mindset of people and I like what Mr. Petro was saying because apparently we are doing things right. Ours is not just a makeup change, but rather a change in methodology, and mostly in the teacher's approach. And our teachers are no longer telling students, uh, give me that homework, but rather publish this. So, as Alan November would put it, this is the way we work now. What sort of jobs, tasks are they doing? Mostly content creation um, and when they talk as they show a procedure or provide an explanation with tutorials, posters and mostly we want them to create tutorials. We are also interested in looking at digital learning techniques with digital underlining with weather lines and all in all as a conclusion and probably I'm taking up too much time indeed our assessment our review of it is quite positive mostly because the reluctant families after a survey after Eight, over 80% of them are no longer reluctant on the use of tablets at school. Teachers have told us about how powerful this tool is for learning and for their students, and they admit that this has become a working tool, which is easier said than done. What skills, what competences are found to be mostly developed? First, communication skills, and also another one that Mr. Pedro mentioned, 
and that is the change in how we work. Our students are now so used to teamwork that they no longer consider it doing it differently. For instance, the other day they were working with an application for video recording and there was a group of students saying, well, this is not useful to us because we cannot just work all of us together with each of our own tablets on this app. So this app was not useful to them. They only see work as a way of everyone manipulating uh, the same document. And so our mindset as teachers has opened up significantly. We are not limited to by format and we want them to express themselves by multiple ways to get into account multiple intelligences intelligences so all in all we are here the, to tell you that we need to incorporate these mobile devices in a natural way but also in a planned and well thought out way thank you very much.